the fastest vehicle on Earth. Punching skywards, the space shuttle is launched vertically, like a rocket. It operates as a spacecraft, yet returns to Earth as a giant glider, the first orbital spacecraft designed for particle reuse. It comprises the orbiter vehicle and two solid rocket boosters, both reusable, and an expendable external tank. Only the orbiter, resembling an aircraft, with double delta wings, goes into orbit. Its tank and boosters are jettisoned during ascent. On re-entering Earth's atmosphere at 300,000 feet, elevators mounted at the trailing edge of the wings take over to control roll and pitch. The craft crosses the Californian coast at 100,000 feet and Mach 5, but reduces speed rapidly when line-up begins. For the runway, its speed slows to Mach 2.5 at 82,000 feet. Full aerodynamic control is gained as the thrusters are deactivated. The shuttle is now, in effect, a glider. The space shuttle is now an insufficient glider and must be landed first time every time. Once likened to a space truck, the space shuttle has proved a versatile craft ferrying large payloads to various orbits providing crew rotation for the International Space Station and performing servicing missions. The five space shuttles have flown more than 116 missions at the time this was written, 2006. Two of these, Columbia and Challenger, were tragically lost. Oh, and did you know NASA owns its own ships? Specifications. Power plant 3, 393,800 pound thrust rocket dyne rocket engines. Wingspan, 78 feet, 1 inch. Wing area, 2,690 square feet. Length, 122 feet, 2 inches. Gross weight, 240,000 pounds. Or 108,846 kilograms. Maximum speed, 27,875 kilometers an hour. Or 17,000 321 miles per hour and it's the fastest vehicle on earth cross range 1248 and a half miles accommodation 7 crew first flight 12th of April 1981 Columbia Oscar Victor 102